For myself, trying to set out and choose my next EDC weapon can be a daunting task. The reason being is I really do love a lot of the guns that we get to shoot for this channel. In particular, I love shooting Shadow Systems pistols. This is the Shadow Systems MR920 Foundation Series, and yes, it's my next everyday carry. You've seen our review of the MR920 Elite Series. This is the Foundation. It's their more budget-friendly, customer-focused model that comes in at about $300 less than what an Elite model costs. It has a few things that let's say an Elite model doesn't have. However, it still has everything that I need in an everyday carry weapon. It has good slide serrations for doing press checks, whether it be from your front or the rear of the gun. Easy to manipulate the slide. It has Shadow Systems optics cut. The optics cut that Shadow Systems uses is absolutely fantastic. It fits tons of different optics. In particular, I have a Hollow Sun 508T on here that I'm gonna be using. I love the Hollow Sun optics. They're absolutely fantastic. They're budget friendly, and yet because they're budget, I don't break the bank, and I'm still getting an awesome optic that are flat out tested. I mean, they've proven themselves to be reliable. So I love those as far as that goes. You're gonna get a black dot rear sight and a white dot front on this, no night sights. With the red dot on here, I'm not concerned with having night sights whatsoever on the pistol, so I don't see that as a downfall. So with the Foundation Series, you get a little bit of a lesser, let's say, slide cuts on there. You're not getting top serrations on there. And then you're also just getting plain white dot sights on here. They're still steel. They're still better than what you're getting on a stock Glock pistol. So with that being said, this pistol comes in at $679 with nothing on it. And we're talking about a price that is competitive or nearly identical to what you're seeing from Glock with their MOS system, which we all know is not very good. What's the best part about this pistol, or let's say two best parts, is the trigger is still the same as all the other pistols, with the exception of the fact that it's not steel or aluminum. It's actually be a polymer one on here. I haven't shot this pistol yet. I'm gonna shoot it a lot today. Overall feel of it though, compared to the DR that I've shot, the XR and the MR, all in the Elite series, it feels identical. It doesn't feel any different. The overall break, reset, and all that stuff seems the same. What's not different about these pistols is the grip module itself. The grip module itself is absolutely fantastic. It's the best part, in my opinion, of any of the Shadow Systems pistols in general. It's that the grips feel great in your hand. They don't need any additional stippling. They have the ledge in the front, which is really nice when you're getting your hand on the pistol, and it does actually help you control it. I happen to really, really like that myself. Undercuts are good. It is beveled here in the magwell. You're not gonna get your magwell that comes with the pistols. However, you can go and buy that from Shadow Systems. It's very inexpensive, less than $30. You can get that, slap it on the pistol. You're still gonna get your interchangeable back straps that the Shadow Systems pistols are known for. So you can change your actual point of aim, point of impact on there a little bit. And then you're still gonna get a standard Glock 19 style front end on here so you can mount a light. I have a Streamlight TLR7A, which you saw in my Stig X Compact that I had before. I basically set this pistol up nearly identical to that. Size-wise, it's identical. 15 rounds of capacity. Let's talk about the part that I really like. We went out to SHOT Show this past year for our first time ever. We happened to meet up with a really wonderful guy, Roger Barrera, QVO Tactical. I ordered this holster from him, paid the normal price everybody else would do. He was able to get it out to us a little faster to make this video. And this is actually going to be the more discreet holster for a Glock 19 with a TLR7A. Absolutely fantastic holster. The build quality is the best in the business. I, this is probably one of the nicest looking holsters I've seen. Good clips, everything like that on here. I may change these out in the future for discrete carry concepts ones. But overall, this looks great. I do have this one covered actually in the 80s base side with the Condora fa fabric on it. And guys, it looks awesome. I, I know that it's purely aesthetic. You're not gonna see it. It's gonna go my waistline. But for me, it, it just, it just freaking looks cool to be honest. And that's why I ordered it. That's why I wanted this on there. And on top of that, this pistol is very, very easy to conceal in a t-shirt with blue jeans, which is what I wear the majority of the time. So let's shoot the heck out of this pistol today. I'm gonna to evaluate it as my EDC weapon, and I'm obviously gonna shoot a bunch of defensive loads, and we'll close it out for you at the end. Dream big, boy, gonna make it. Stay tall, there's a higher road to take it. Let go of everything that you know, and be wild in the misery. I've been in the darkness for 40 days. There's no doubt in my mind that the MR920 in general is a very, very accurate platform. These pistols from Shadow Systems just always shoot really well. I shoot them really well, and I couldn't be happier to be putting one of these in my pants to carry.
I probably can't stress this enough. You need to always pick a pistol for yourself for CCW, EDC type or duty that you shoot the best. I shoot Glock 19s in general very, very well. I probably prefer shooting them more than anything, which is also a large part and reason why I went with this. Why well, I went with the Foundation Series, it's quite a bit cheaper and gives me everything I need and nothing I don't. So we'll start this out, I got it zeroed, was nailing headshots on a swinger at 25 yards to start. So it's, it's ready to go. I'm gonna shoot a build drill here to start on time out of the holster and out of concealment. We'll see how I do. I've never run this pistol, but I've obviously shot plenty of other ones. Yeah. It's fast. Got to obviously pick up my own accuracy a little bit there. That wasn't very good, to be honest, but it's all right. We're just starting out. That one's a half second trigger cadence drill. So I had 033 splits. So we're good on that. What I'm doing here too, guys, is I'm actually interchanging some Glock 17 or 19X mags that I've had and using my DR920 Elite. No issues so far. I'm gonna interchange them too to see how it does. So. At the 150 round mark now today, for myself, before I carry a weapon, I generally will shoot at least 300 rounds through it. And no doubt, I always shoot carry ammunition through it. I have some Winchester Ranger T-Series ammunition right here that I've carried for a while and just gonna shoot it off today. So we're 150 rounds now. We'll dump this one and see how it does. I don't think we'll have any issues though. Surprise, I shot good. And because we're a fan of doing the Lord's work, how about two more mag dumps? Okay, no lock back on that, but my grip slipped up and it was definitely pushing down on it. So that's my only bad doing on that, however, Two mag dumps, we'll take a quick look at the target so you guys can check it out. Some of this other stuff was from before, but overall controllability of the Shadow System pistol is usually always there. There again today. I mean, can't, I really can't be displeased with that. I shoot these pistols well. Some of this stuff, I'm not really sure. This one over here, we had a little fly on there we were trying to shoot, but overall these pistols, they just shoot absolutely fantastic. I truly do love the Shadow System pistols in general. I'm a huge fan. I've bought several of their pistols my own. Yes, they've sent some out to us to try, but I would buy them on my own if I had to because I flat out believe in these. I believe in this pistol enough that I'm gonna trust my life with it. I'm gonna trust everybody around me and I'm gonna be able to defend somebody if I have to, knowing that I shoot this pistol better than the majority of pistols that I carry. So if you guys like what you saw today, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and follow along next time with Hunt, Fish, Shoot.